Phantom Forces is a game that can get pretty expensive at times, and when you think about the world of Phantom Forces, the amount of expensive bullets that gets fired every second probably takes a heavy toll on both sides after each round. So today we're going to be doing what I've dubbed the Phantom Forces Scavenger Challenge that came into existence after this comment was posted on my Nuzlocke video. So just a quick shout out to this gamer for coming up with the original concept. Now before we begin, let's lay out a few rules for ourselves. Rule 1. Every life starts with a melee as our team is too poor to equip every soldier equally. Rule 2. You can only acquire a firearm by picking it up from the ground. This means you are only allowed to use other people's weapons, and yes, this includes teammates. Rule 3. Once you have a gun, you aren't actually allowed to reload it. This means you are only able to use the bullets the gun currently has in its magazine, so once you've used up all its magazine ammo, you have to go find another firearm. You can't have two primaries at once, meaning if you want a secondary, you'll have to find a gun that's classified as a secondary, like a pistol or a revolver. Rule 5. You are allowed the use of one singular grenade to assist in getting the first initial kill outside of melee range. And with that said, my only goal for this video is to get that epic victory royale on every game mode currently in the main game. So now with the rules laid out and our win condition set, let's get straight into the first ever Phantom Forces Scavenger Challenge. Alright, so our luck has pretty much already struck. The map is Metro, and like, that is already a pretty good melee map. I'm gonna be rocking the hockey stick, mainly because it's the only really, like, melee that has any, like, resemblance of range. And then, to pair it off, I think I'm gonna run the Mark II, because, I don't know, for rank 2, this grenade is absolutely insane. And also, we're obviously gonna be running this on a new account, because having the overpower of melees of my main account would, would kind of just make, like, this challenge a little bit obsolete if you were running around with something like the Spy Hundler or the Stopper. So we're not doing that. Alright, give me that. Right, we got an HK416 with 31 bullets. Oh, already defaulting to default gameplay right now, which is pressing R literally as soon as we stop firing. We're gonna have to swap to semi. Uh, I'm gonna take this gun. Ooh, KSG. Okay, this one has a lot of bullets. Uh-oh. Oh, he's coming. No! Our teammates are actually kind of useful because they're now supplying us with like a fresh set of guns that we are able to use. Oh god. No! If you couldn't tell, I'm not the greatest at using guns in semi, especially when I have to preserve ammo. Okay, that's a w wait. Can I see that again? That is actually like three frames. <laughs> that is three frames! Three frame animation right here. Wait, is that an HK21? Oh my god, we hit we hit a jackpot right now. This is a jackpot. You know, you never really realize how many guns truly go to waste. Like, look at the amount of guns that are on the ground right now. Oh shit. Man. Not being able to reload. Biggest handicap since forever. Good thing we can just pick up the same gun right there. But with ammo in it. Screw it. Oh my- IRPM guns, for once, are going to be bad, uh, because they consume ammo way too- <gasps> Ooh, I just picked up a secondary. You don't get that pretty often. I forgot their name, but whoever put this in the comments, props to you for making a genuinely, like, really interesting challenge. Like, this is fun. The extra element added to it, like having to preserve bullets, is really cool. Obviously, I added a few more rules mainly because I suck at the game to make it just a little bit easier to handle, but it's still mainly the same concept, mainly like the same difficulty, just with a few added helplines to make this challenge a little bit easier for me and you alike. Oh no. Give me your gun. Give me your gun. Give me. Give me your gun. Give me the gun. <laughs> Madam Forces, I kind of need you to not be buggy right now. This is truly some metro moments that we're with. Okay, so that's flare domination done. Yikes. Okay, yeah, this is... I don't even know how I'm going to get a kill here. I think this challenge will overall give you better hit rush though, since... Phantom Forces is way more capable of registering your shots when you're shooting semi compared to when you're shooting full auto. The Scarl is actually... Ooh, actually, should we... No, never mind. Alright, let's use the Scar L as a DMR. You will never see this outside of this challenge. Nobody using the Scar L as a freaking DMR in order to conserve a few bullets.
I got my DMR back. You can actually move the gun, so I can all pretty much just drag this gun with me to a tactical location. You think I can drag it up the stairs with me? Oh, I, ca I can. <laughs> Oh, it's already out of ammo? What? Oh, well that wasn't worth the drag, like, at all. What's going on here? Ooh, a P90. With 12 bullets, great. You guys stop using so many freaking bullets, like... Think about the economy. Think about how little ammo that you... You give me to use! Okay, I'll take whatever I can get. I don't have any gun. Oh no, this thing has horrendous recoil. The best is probably just going to the hill itself, because everybody just goes there, which means there's gonna be a lot of dead corpses, which is gonna give you a lot of free guns uh, to work with. No! Give me this gun. I kinda need to save ammo, and I need, I need the bullets. <gasps> AK! Okay. Die! Oh. Die! Oh. What are you doing? Why are you not dying? Give me the sniper rifle. Why do people put coyote on this? Like... Uh, I'm gonna be real sure I completely forgot we had to do this game mode anyway. Uh, but on to the next one. Why do we keep getting these open ass like maps? If there's anything I'm gonna do bad on and have trouble getting that first initial kill. Oh wait, yeah, 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 let's melee, let's melee. There can be only- oh! ah, I have huge respect for that man. <laughs> oh my god, we kind of have a full loadout now. Why can't I hit you? Oh, we got a secondary. Okay, we gotta use this. Well, this is the first use of a secondary in this entire video. Finally, I picked up a Stevens, where it has some actual ammo. Thing is, it doesn't really last for long. Good thing I have this guy. Eat this. That's tactical use of our grenade. Now we have all of these guns to work with. We didn't really get too much use of them. It's just a proof of concept, so if you guys ever do this challenge, use your grenade to kill like a huge bunch of people, and then you'll just have guns for days. Why do you not die? Die! <laughs> no, 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 no. Come here. What? All right, watch me get a funny uh, burst kill. All right, I think I want to head over in that building. They're going to have to glue you back there. You are merely inferior. My entire, like, first part of every life I do is mailing. You really think you're going to beat me in the melee 1v1? Okay, I guess we won. On to the next match. Alright, it seems that the majority has elected to now start playing on Derek. Uh, luckily, it's kill confirmed. I need to get, like, a good flank on someone. Like, this guy. <laughs> Just chase them down, get their gun. Yikes. Why they gotta be aggressive, man? Why can't you all guys just be like, chill? I mean, just slide, slide, to, to, the slide to get where you need to be, but don't actually like use it offensively. Okay, what's with the random low right there? That's my question. Anybody ever really notice that like, Low ranks are like you never they're never in the way until you're doing something else. Like then they all of every single low rank in the server just like spawns behind you. Crap. Why you gotta be here? I'm still alive. Oh my god, give me a gun. <laughs> no This has no ammo! Oh my god! I need them to come like through this hallway. I guess we won them. You know, we're doing amazing, as you can see. Jeez, oh, 370! Alright, we've somehow landed back on Metro, although this time it, we're doing Tag Run. Okay, I was 
Expecting something else, I don't know why you'd be running up a conveyor with a Glock 17. Oh my god, all of these weapons are super low ammo. We're getting completely like... Okay, how are you not dead? Like, that was point blank. I mean, granted, it was at your feet, but still. Teammates are single-handedly, like... Keeping the challenge afloat, because they also drop guns. Stock M9 time. You know what? Sure. I mean, yeah, the sniper's cool and all, but I need a more offensive gun. Okay, I need a gun. IT HAS THE BULLETS! No amount of pre-fire could have saved me from that. <laughs> but the good thing is, the majority of them are now concentrated on the middle point. So this is a prime time to maybe get a flank in. Maybe we'll be able to pick someone off, steal their gun. I don't have a gun. Does this have ammo? No, it doesn't. Okay, you know what? Z point? Sure. And a we might have something good here. The gun spotted. An intervention with all of the wrong attachments. M60. Oh my god, what a find. What a find! Thank god for the grenade, man. Thank god. You know, one thing I've got to respect is the fact that the person who commented this challenge says he does this, like, it came off as, the like, he does this pretty regularly uh, to make the game harder, which I'll definitely approve it here, dude. This makes it, like, several times harder, especially considering you start off with no gun. Like, I'm pretty sure you said you didn't even use grenades. Yikes! Never had this much trouble finding guns that just have ammo. Until now. Oh my god, how did I play a shotgun? That hurts. Please don't. You kill one, another one spawns. Caught the recoil of this thing. I've gotten too used to using it in front line, so I just think it has like no recoil. Teammates, are you serious? So you guys were here, and they were here, and you guys just okay. That is a teammate moment. So much magnification. There's a little bit too much. On that thing. Also, I hit rank 10, so, uh, hey! I mean, we are on the Nuzlocke account. Uh, the failed attempt, that is. So, I guess by that means we completed the Nuzlocke. Picking up other people's guns. Uh, a lot of people commented this, and, uh, I'll just clarify it in a completely, like, separated video. Picking up guns is against the rules, and I'll, uh, after this video goes live, I'll probably update the pinned comment. Or some time where, when I'm editing this. I also might just forget. Uh, you know, might as well end the match a little bit early, stay here, win the match, easy game. Now, on to capture the flag. Alright, I don't know what it is with today, and like, recording, or if it's like curse or something, but we're back on Metro once again. This time, with our last game mode of the day, capture the flag. Uh, so hopefully, we can make something happen, and oh, I'm on, I'm on the road, load up. Oh boy. No, sir, you don't. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Is that a VCOG scope on the Deagle? I'm gonna need that weapon. M16A4. The thing is, this gun is actually pretty good for this challenge because it's very... It doesn't... You don't mag dump to kill people with it. Also, there's five seconds left of the round. I gotta do something. No! At least get the flag. 
Yeah. Well, that's all game modes, and which I guess that marks the end of the challenge. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. Also, shout out to the guy who gave me this idea in the comments. Uh, I forget what his name is, but honestly, it was actually a lot of fun and a pretty different way to like look at the gameplay. Like instead of relying on your own setups, you rely on others and let alone them having bullets. So it's a nice variation, honestly, from the popular like pick up or die challenge. And I quite enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. But until next time, peace.